Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Madoka-chan episode 11. Uh, it is the semi-season finale now, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing how this is going to end. Um, but yeah, as always guys, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Would it matter if he didn't get the perfect score or not? A 98 would still be like the top grade, right? So what's the problem? Weird parent behavior. No wonder people like this grow up so fucked up. <laughs> Obviously the parents would be to blame. Bro, what the fuck? Get. Look at the cat. Is she munching again? I mean, of course she is. Now we know. Now we know as to why she's eating so much. People getting out of school at five past five. Did that say? What the hell? That is late. This dude is really just like an emotionless ghoul. Like, I go to I go to work, get paid, don't learn my student names or anything like that. And then just go home. I just still have the feeling that there's going to be something different about these ones that are hanging around him, but I don't know. I want it to be exactly what it looks like. Wait, is this ghoul his mom? Or. I mean, you could always just go and donate them more money. Maybe they'll give you more saves after that. Yeah, except you haven't been helping them much. I mean, you've helped a few ghosts, but you haven't been doing anything else. Maybe he knows he's been followed. This is why he's walking in this direction. Or maybe he's looking for cats. Oh no, kitty cat. Save it. You have to catch him in the act. Oh! Hang on now, it looked like it was just gonna grab it by the face. But then it just looked like it was about to stroke him. What? Yeah. Now it's a problem. Now the gods are gonna have to come. This looks like a dirty cat, unless it's just a different color. What is your reason for wanting these cats, bro? I mean, we know, but... Tell us. Please tell us. Just say it straight up. Come on, anime. I mean... <laughs> how long would the police have taken to actually get there? It's unlikely that they would have actually caught him red-handed. Anime, answer my questions, damn it. I need to know. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait, what? Wait. Surely not. He's n surely he's not actually a good person to all of these cards. This seems like it's starting to be pieced together. Oh no. So his mom is the one killing these cats? Really? Oh, this creepy bitch, man. This has to be the ghost that's following, following him around. Okay, apparently he's alive. Obviously, that would be for the best to find out what's happening. This makes no sense, though, like... Why do these bad cats follow him around then? Like, in the second episode, we saw the choice between the guy, the you know, the mafia, the Yakuza-looking guy, who had, like, angel cats following him around, and then we see this guy who, like, just looks, like, no good, who has, like, demon cats following him around. If he's actually nice to cats, then what is with that? And we're gonna find out, but it's just, like, uh, I don't know. Okay. 
Chocolate? Are you mad? Okay, now, don't give any animal chocolate. Oh, and it's not you. Okay. Well, I guess then the cat he's been finding, he must have just been, you know, taking them somewhere nice. Just so the person who's actually abusing these cats wouldn't find them, I suppose. But why are they following him round? This, this Zen guy looks like he needs just like a week of sleep then. Or maybe this ghost that's been following him around is affecting, you know, his day-to-day -day life. His late mother. Yeah, it's this fucking ghost. You need to get rid of it. Oh yeah, please, Miko, get rid of this ghost. This, li this dude's life will dramatically improve. It would be such a twist if this vet guy was the guy that was killing the cats. But surely not. And surely Miko would, you know, know by now. Oh. What if he actually, like, opened up, like, a cat sanctuary or something? That'd be so cute. You know what you gotta do, Miko. Look that ghost right in the eyes. I mean... I'm with you, Miko. We had about nine episodes or so to really judge him. I judged him too, but that's just because how the story laid it out. And it was very convincing that he was actually a bad person. Oh shit. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Oh, Miko, you are brave. Oh, damn. Is she down? Is she down for good? Take her ass out. Come on. All right. So that was Madoka Chan episode 11. Oh, it ended on a cliffhanger right there. And uh, this is the first time it's kind of ended on a cliffhanger where uh, the gods have gotten involved. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, definitely looking forward to the next episode now with the finale and what's going to kind of happen now with uh, Zen. Hopefully something good comes of this. Hopefully his life dramatically improves now that he won't have his mother's ghost or ghoul like kind of hanging over him after death um which is nice it's it, it you you can't i know in a lot of anime you're not supposed to judge a character like straight away on just what you can see uh obviously there's more is usually more deep uh, behind them you know and to to really kind of explain that character and what they do and why they do it but it's been that many episodes and the evidence that we were given it just really seemed like, you know, it was actually him who was, you know, killing cats. Uh, even though we never saw him really do it. And again, that's stupid of me to assume. But, um, you know, it's just this one time, anybody watching, you know, who may think, wow, why, why did he just judge him? Oh, don't judge a book by its cover. Just this one time, let me off. Because it was just, it was, in my opinion, it was the story was really trying to push the fact that this is, is exactly what he was actually like but i was wrong so i apologize for that um and uh yeah hopefully now uh, in the next episode we see some kind of nice even in even in a, like a change of character maybe he'll come into school start remembering names properly maybe he will adopt the cats and um, maybe he'll adopt more cats or open up a cat sanctuary or something like that i think that'd be really cool um stop pushing all these cats on his vet friend you know uh, but yeah, overall, a very good episode. Definitely looking for forward to the finale. And that is that. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an nice rest of your day and peace out.